Did I read this note? There's a note over here. I don't think I read this before. Dogs in Ferelden. Speaking of dogs, hey, I got your, uh, your flower. The Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. I've got that herb. Is this the flower you're looking for? Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Uh, how long before there's an improvement? A day, maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Ooh, that would be cool. You think that's possible? Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Mm. Come back after the battle and just... Well, take another look. I think I would be... I would. Aww. You're doing alright there, buddy. Aww. Um... Oh, hey! That Tranquil is gone. Which means, since I have that key that I... Ugh, got from that prisoner guy, I should be able to open this. Ooh. Look at what we got here. Um, Enchanter's arming cap and apprentice cowl. Plus 10 mental resistance, plus 2 will power, plus 1 spell power, plus 10 melt. Yes, please. Oh boy, it's the mage coneheads. Awesome. Uh, not quite awesome, but that's okay. The enchanter's robes. Plus 3 will power, plus 3 magic, plus 3 defense, plus 10 health. I don't know. Not bad, but I think I kind of like the Vestments of the Seer more. Um, I don't think there was anything else in there. Alright. I need to sell the stuff that I don't need. Hey, Quartermaster. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Yeah, let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. I don't like. suppose you have any more backpacks, per se? Ooh, yes you do. I'll take that. Excellent, excellent. Because oh, inventory is so important in this game. Alright, I don't really use... Yeah, I don't really use these a lot. I find that it's these asses and poisons. I find that it's better to just sell them, to be honest. Ooh, an injury kit. We could have used that for Jory, but that's okay. We're back to the base now. Um, yeah, this is all poison that I don't really use. And the spirit bombs, again, I don't really use that much. I might need the flask later and these death roots and elf roots, maybe. But don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Chase and flat blade. Maybe... Barbarian Mace? Nah, I don't really need it that much. Jason Crusher... Mm, I'm gonna sell that. Longbow... The Wild's Bow... And the Blight Blood... And the Crossbow... I can get rid of those. Um, the Studded Leather Helm... Meh... Nah. Leather gloves, studded leather gloves. Leather gloves, split mail gloves. Mm. I might want to keep that. Studded leather blue boots, studded leather armor. Chain mail, chain mail. Um. Split mail, chain mail, chain mail. Enchanter's robes, Jason robes, apprentice cowl, clothing, clothing. I, I guess I'm not. I'm just gonna get rid of the clothing, but I'm keeping my wedding clothes. I like my wedding clothes. It's kind of like, it kind of is a reminder of of home, you know. Um, heirloom necklace, mud idol. I guess I'll keep those for now. Topaz, sure. Quartz, 
wolf pelts, we can sell these. Um, yeah, I think that's about, that's about it, I guess. Is there anything else that I don't think I need? Quartz. We'll keep those gems for now. Um, do I really need the splint mail? I guess I might. Mm, so hard to decide. I don't need this. Alright, 37 out of 90. So, yeah. I think I'm good. Hey, Win. Guess what, Win? I, I can I can cast spells now. Back again? Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Off you go. I have preparations to make for the battle, and I won't be distracted. All right. Oh, here's that tranquil. Welcome, young man. Uh, I should go. Goodbye. I. Sorry, dude. I kind of broke up in your chest. I mean, I I didn't say a thing. What? What are you talking about? Don't look at me. Ostagar is a very defensible location. Even if the Horde outnumbers us, we should see a decisive victory. It's good to have Grey Wardens amongst us. With their help, perhaps we can push these things back underground for good. Let's get back to Duncan quickly. If we wait too long, you won't be able to swing a dead cat without hitting a Darkspawn. Didn't I hear someone else say that? Yes. What do you think we should do now? We got everything, so let's go back. I'm hungry. I hear you, Tabit. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? How about you, Jory? I am ready. What do you think we should do now? We should go back to Duncan. If we are fortunate, we've completed the joining and all passed. Alright, let's go. Indeed. I believe we've also completed all our major Ostagar... Yeah. Completed all our major Ostagar tasks, so... We've saved the dog, and we got the chest, and so... Yeah. Alright, Duncan, we're back in one piece. Well, except for Jory, who has... Oh, he healed up. Good. Awesome. Yes. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Not that it was easy, but yeah. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. So, now will you tell us what this ritual is about? Actually, maybe we should tell you about Morrigan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the right. joining. So... Now will you tell us what this ritual is about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. What exactly do you mean by that? So, you're saying this ritual can kill us? As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it Great. done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Uh, alright. Is this some sort of a hazing ritual? Like, do I have to, you know, run? The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Come on, guys. I'm sure it's got to be something... You know, we're, we'll probably just have to streak around the camp, you know? Hey, Alistair, why don't you go first? You know, show us show us how it's done, eh? 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 Why are you looking at me like that, Al? Why are... All right. Fine. It was just a suggestion. Um... I don't like this any more than you do. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. 
the Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. This is a pretty interesting conversation between Davith, Davith and Jory. I mean, because Jory is... Jory seems to be the more noble of the two, because Davith is... I mean, he was a thief, he was a cut purse, and yet it seems like Davith is the one who is a lot more... Um, he's being a lot more heroic about this than Jory is. But I can understand where Jory's come from, come, coming from, because, you know, he's got a wife and kids, or a kid, that he hasn't even met yet, I don't think. So I, I understand his nervousness for, for this, for this whole thing. Um, let's see. You do make a good point. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. That is I've true. just never faced a foe. I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? What? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Really? Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. So wait, let me get this straight. You want us to drink Darkspawn blood? Now, can't, really, can't, can't, can't we just do the streaking thing? Can't we? Please? No? No. Um... Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. That was very cool how Jory looks. Davith, step forward. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, that was a really good touch with Jory looking back and forth between Alistair and the cup. Very, very good storytelling there. Alright, Davith. How are you feeling? Oh, Davith. You okay there, buddy? Whoa. Um... Make his breath! Oh, no! Oh, Davith, no! I am sorry, Davith. Oh, man. Step forward, Jory. Uh-oh. But... I have a wife. A child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. What the... Wait, 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 what? Oh my gosh. I am sorry. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Was that really necessary? But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Great. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Uh-oh. Ooh, brain freeze. What the? Oh, man. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was 
Horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Man. So, this is the part of the story where you really think twice about about Duncan and the Grey Wardens. Because, you know, I when I first saw that scene, I definitely... My... I guess respect... Yeah, I w I'll say respect. My respect for Duncan kind of dropped. I ended up liking his character a lot less. And hear me out. Like, I understand that the Grey Wardens are supposed to be Grey... They're called Grey Wardens for a reason, because, as Al said earlier, they do what must be done. You know, they're... They, they kind of have to do anything, whatever it takes, even if it crosses moral boundaries in order to get the job done. But what Duncan did to Jory, I thought was a little too extreme. Like, okay, I understand that Jory um, kind of signed up for this. He, he said that he was willing to go through this process to become a Grey Warden. And granted, though he didn't know about the ritual and how lethal the ritual could be, you know, it's he did sign, for, uh, sign up for it. That being said, I think that it would have been better if Duncan had tried talking to Jory. Because, you know, Jory said he was refusing to drink the, the blood of the taint, and I guess Duncan was trying to keep... He couldn't let Jory survive because he didn't want, I guess, Jory to know the secret of the joining, because he might squeal and tell other people. Not that I necessarily think that that's justification for killing him. But, you know, assuming you agree to that, assuming that you agree that you should kill people if they refuse to do the joining for the purposes of them not s spoiling or squealing what the ritual is so all about, the joining ritual is all about, I think Duncan should have at least given Jory a chance to be um, talked into it. I think he should have at least tried to talk to Jory and, and encouraged him to drink the cup um, you know, in order to motivate for him to do it for his family and for his wife. Because I know he was thinking about his wife and his unborn, or his now-born kid, which is natural. I think that's perfectly, perfectly reasonable, and more than reasonable, to be a little hesitant because of, um, you know, because you're about to do something without being able to say anything to your wife or to your kid, at the very least, um, I think Duncan should have tried to diplomatize or talked to Jory about this. And who knows, maybe Jory would have ended up agreeing and would have ended up voluntarily drinking from the cup eventually. But Duncan never gave him that chance, and that's why it's because of that that I my respect for Duncan kind of dropped there, and I started liking him less as a character. Um, because I think that Davith kind of did the same thing with talking to Jory about... Because, you know, Jory was getting cold feet even before he knew what the, what the joining ritual entailed. And Davith was able to kind of... You know, he talked to him and said, wouldn't you be willing to die if it meant that it would protect your wife and your kid? And he, he, he agreed to that. So I think that Jory could have been reasonable enough if Duncan had given him the chance. And the fact that Duncan just pulled out his dagger immediately and didn't give him that chance, um, I felt was poor leadership. Poor leadership on his part. You guys are free to disagree with me because I know there's a ton of Duncan fans. And, you know, there are definitely a lot of really great things about Duncan as a, you know, as a character. But because of those reasons, I as the player at least don't particularly care for that behavior, that that behavior that he did in that last scene. Anyway, I apologize for I apologize for going off on that, but you know, throughout throughout with games like this, there are times when um, it really made me think, and it really makes me. I, I love I love that about Bioware is that they put you in these situations, uh, and you wonder. Um, about the moral dilemmas, and I just like talking about them. And um, you know, if any of you guys have ever have any um, want to discuss any of the stuff that I talk about, if you agree or disagree, you know, especially if you disagree, feel free to 
feel free to talk about it because I think that's part of playing the game and sharing the experience of playing the game with other people. So anyway, I guess, like I said, having said all that, my initial reaction for Angelus is, I still can't believe you killed Sir Jory. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me I... no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in I... vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this huh. far. Thank you, I guess. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Uh, what kind of meeting? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. Okay. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Sure, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, Al, wait, hold on. Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. He might get mad, start crying. You'll feel bad and... Well, it won't be pretty. Shh, Al, I love that. Yeah, it looks like they gave back all the stuff that oh man. Not only did not only did Jory and Davith died, but they stripped them of all of their clothes. That's kind of If the king wants to see you and Duncan, you He might get mad. Alright. Um I might as well sell this stuff because I don't think I'm gonna be Hello using again. Them. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps. I really don't feel comfortable. Well, let me know what you'd like. Carrying around Sir Jory's and Davith's gear. So, I'm just gonna sell them because I don't really want them. Yeah. You can take that and that and... Um... Scale gloves. Is the scale gloves any better than the ones that... I don't know if they are necessarily... Um, whatever. I'm just selling them. Scale boots, studded leather, scale armor. Yeah. Alright, um... And... don't need that. Messy kills. 10% critical backstab damage. It's not too bad. But... Um... Get rid of that. Get rid of. I don't really. Mm. Longbow. Maybe. Bolt. Arrow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm just trying to not fill up my inventory. So. All right. Well, I guess I survived the joining. I guess I'm officially a Grey Warden. It seems. So let's see what's going on at this war council. Might as well, huh? Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. A Darkspawn horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. Do. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road. I understand congratulations are in order. Uh... 
Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Whoa, we're the best? Really? Um... I'll do my best, then, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The circle of magi... not trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. He seems ticked. Really ticked. Mm. Anyway. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Um... Where is this Tower of Ishal exactly? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. And where will you be? I will be fighting beside the King with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Again, at his request. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Uh... How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Alright, alright. Are we in any danger? Of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. So can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Fair enough. All right, I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Good luck, Duncan. Alright. Looks like Al's, Al's ready to go. Look at him. Um, but let's level up real quick. Because I might as well. Oh. I'm gonna go power up my magic a little more. And... Willpower. Represents character determination and mental fortitude. Um, more stamina. Yeah, willpower is kind of important too. But... I guess I'll put in some in willpower, and... Do I want to put any more in cunning? Yeah, I think I'll put some in cunning. Let's see... I'm level 5. Um... That'll need level 23 magic. Which I can easily get in the next level. So, yeah... Talents and 
entropy, archery, dual weapon, entropy, spirit, creation, primal. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going up the creation tree to heal. Because I want to be able to rejuvenate. Uh, regeneration is the big thing that I want to get up to. That's really important. Oh wait, I can, I can get two talents. Can I bring my... Hold on. Can I bring this up to... Yes, I can. If I do this... Oh, sweet, then I can get regener... Yeah, then I can get regeneration. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Uh, because once I get that, I can try to go for... Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. Sweet! I've got my, uh... Got my healing spells all lined up, ready to support... Ready to support Al here. So, anyway... I think this is a good place for us to stop, guys. The battle's about to uh, begin, and uh, good, good Al. Yeah, Al, Al, Al realized we were about to end here, so he just put his stuff away. Good for you, Al. So yeah, until next time, folks. Love yourselves and love each other. <laughs>